YouTubers, and I thought I'd do a, a little video today. I didn't do many videos, I should do more, but I had a very interesting box opening today, which I had completely forgotten about. So, Robin with Dick Lock Dick is here to talk about that great, great, great box opening, which is in my hand. Uh, I had a package that came home from work, I've had a miserable time in work recently, not really much to afford to. I bought a little thing, so I started making myself a little pipe purse, which I'll probably show you in a later date. Um, inspired by the legendary Saxon, by the way. <sighs> anyway, come home from work, quite a disappointing week. Just, you know, average, run in the mail, you know, where are you going, where does he do anything? And there was a box package left in my next door neighbour, my next door neighbour being the chip shop. A little message from Hurley saying, package in the chip shop, I just didn't know what the hell it was. I thought, no, it's got to be for the missus. So anyway, the missus went over, because she often buys stuff off the internet and forever, clothes, whatever. And it was a longish box with my name on it. Oh, wow. And I couldn't remember what it was, I couldn't think what it was. I thought, what have I wanted, what have I wanted? And I opened it up and a card popped out with Dawn Mist. Oh, they were. If it's down long enough, the missus just moves it. A little, little thing just popped out with Dawn Mist. It made me quite excited because then I knew it was my clay pipe made by Heather. Handmade. It's made in the 1650 style. I think it's the 1650 style in England. Very, very, very small bowl. Either due to the rarity of the of tobacco or the expense of tobacco at the time. So it's quite small, but it actually holds more than what perhaps you would think. I tampered it. Put it in quite st stiff. I tested the door and I pushed it in as tightly as I could and I got as much tobacco as I possibly could into the bowl um, to give it a try. I've had a couple of people pass on it, so I thought I'd do a privilege of lighting up here now for you today. So let's have a little look. I've got a coffee. So you see it's quite a nice length. It's a good length on it, so if you're going to compare it to a, a Peterson Church Warden. So you've got the Peterson Church Warden there. Obviously you can see the bowl difference. Yeah. Okay. You can see it is quite quite long. All is our church warden. So yeah, I packed this more tightly than I would a briar because mainly because it was a small bowl, so I just wanted to make it as much of a smoke as possible. Um, I was hoping to get like thirty minutes or so to it. First thing I notice, the bowl gets very, very hot. So always be ready. Don't smoke it. I always like smoking it. I guess. Okay. But remember to smoke like a cigarette. You can also notice that, I don't know if you can see this, the door mist insignia. Now apparently, I don't think it's true, the clay, 
it's supposed to give you more flavour, natural flavour. Apparently it doesn't see the whole, the clay doesn't see the whole as much flavour. Um, so what I really wanted this for, as well as to look pretty cool, uh, is also to sort of to test new tobaccos that, that I was going to get, just to get a base of flavour of it. Whereas like Briar, you kind of want flavours to, you want a little bit of ghosty, you want to sort of mix those those Virginias together, you want, you want things to be enhanced, I think, with Briars. This I thought would give me a much more natural ground zero on which you can base any flavours on. It is still hot, so. As I spent more time smoking, less time yakking with the ukulele. Oh, by the way, I'm smoking on Gummy for that race. Um, cracking it, smoke. Especially for church wardens. Uh, especially it's good in anything, but gives you quite a nice sweet smoke. Yeah, so I'm not even using my us usual device, I'm using the uh, a Lenovo Yoga, so I don't know what the picture quality is like. I normally use uh, a, an SLR camera on the video function to, to do these, so I don't even know what the sound's going to be like, but I didn't think it really mattered. Who cares? Come on, we pipe smokers. Don't give monkeys. It's about the smoking. It's about brother and sisterhood. It's about fun. Yeah? So that's what I'm doing. Short video, have some fun, smoke a pipe. Because let's face it, nobody outside of YouTube really understands us. Yeah? That's all. Bollocks. Too much time fucking talking. Mm -hmm. There we go. Now what I've noticed is tamping. <laughs> what I've just noticed is that tamping is a little bit of a challenge, so perhaps that's something I'm going to have to master. Maybe I don't need to tamp it. Maybe there's a technique which is lost on me at the moment. This is a great tobacco. Uh, I get a lot of sweetness from it. I get, um, I like a lot of, uh, normally a smoker tobacco, which is quite spicy. I like a lot of bottle of flakes, which are also quite sweet, but I do like the sweet ones and the spicy ones. The Balkan, it's, it's very different to Balkan. It's a much more heady sweetness. It's a it's more plummy sweetness. It's all pure, all beautiful, all sort of nothing unnatural. And I think, yes, you can. Yeah, I can. I can. It tastes differently. It tastes slightly differently. There's something. It's like I can, it's, I can sense more of the background of flavours. It's, 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 the background comes a little bit more to the front. The main flavours are still there in the same level. But somehow the background flavours seem to come up that little more. Do not like if you're listening to your hi-fi system, you've got a good quality hi-fi system, you know you've got a good quality hi-fi system, because you can hear maybe a little symbol in the background which you didn't hear before. Maybe you're in your Audi and you're using the Bang Olufsen system or something. And you think, wow, I never heard that before. I never heard that. I never heard that scrape of a plectrum on, on the bass guitar. This is kind of like that. 
it's kind of like you can still hear the main things. You can still hear uh, Jim Morrison, and you can still hear Ray Manzarek. But there's these little claps and little something in the background which you've never heard before, which does adds that little bit more interest. That's how it is. It's probably gone out again now because I spent too much time bloody talking again. Yeah. But anyway, that's enough of that. I've had enough of talking now. I want to get back to finish now. I want to finish my first ball. I really should time how long it takes. I would say if I had a full ball, filled that ball up, wasn't yakking, I'd say you'd probably get a good 25 minute smoke out of it, which is pretty good. I'd be uncomfortable carrying it around with the mud. It's clay. Uh, it's quite long and quite easy to break, I would imagine. So it's going to be something that's going to spend most of its time in the home. Um, but, bloody great, got there. It, it's so cheap. I think this one cost me £18, I think it was. 16 18 pounds on the website. No, it might be less than that, maybe £12. Let me, let me tell you exactly. Let me have a look. So, look at my emails. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold as well. Sorry, I haven't been smoking much pipe tobacco recently, which is a bloody nightmare. Alright, so let's have a look. Yeah, the actual individual price is £12.95. So what will that work out at? $20? Maybe? $19? To you guys in the States? Stateside? Um... I know the public piper has bought from Dorvis. He, he bought he bought the bigger, uh, the bigger bore pipes, which I can't blame him to be honest. I, I might go down there, but I think for me, what I wanted, this is enough. A nice little taster, um, a nice little pinch of tobacco. There, there are smaller bowls than that. They literally, are just a pinch of tobacco apparently. Um, that's yeah, it's mid mid range. Nice little pipe. They do church with more than sides, but get in there quick because. As quick as she's making them, they're selling out. Um, so bear that in mind. Thank you. And Rob Wattick will see you again sometime. <laughs>